Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the rank, v rank, and h rank function. So these are the three functions which have been given within the click view to do the ranking of the data. So most of the times as you are aware if you are engaged into reporting you need to rank the sales or you need to rank your salesperson or you need to rank your department. So ranking is a general uh, metric which you need to do based on the uh, data that you have in hand. So here in this case I have uh, different car makers and their cost price and I've just given a simple rank to to each of the maker of the car and based on their cost price. So we can see that Aston Martin is coming as the number one and then number two is Jaguar. So it's basically an indicative to us by just looking at the rank that who is incurring the highest cost when they are creating or may manufacturing their vehicle. So let's now go into the technicals of rank, V rank and H rank. So rank and V rank, uh, ideally it's the same function. They do a ranking based on the vertical data. That means the data which currently is in front of you. And based on the vertically fashioned data, it identifies the rank for individual uh, expression or individual value from the expression. So if I go back and to the property and show you the rank function configurations, this is simple cost which you are seeing, nothing but sum of cost price. But rank is also a very simple one where within the rank it is taking the sum of cost price. So we have not chosen any of the settings that rank provides but everything is default and based on that we have got this rank. So very simple implementation, nothing much you need to do but uh, the complexity comes into the picture when you have different business scenarios. Say for example, if you have two different values which are having the same, uh, two, two values which are having the same amount then what do you want to do you want to take average you want to uh, give first value the maximum or the lower or the higher that's how you know you need to do and set the configuration based on your business requirement because sometimes business wants to give the same rating sometimes they want to show the kind of a range that okay if three values are same and they are incurring between three four five then three to five is what they need to show so that's the setting you need to do and you can identify how you need to do the setting by going into the help and once you look at the rank function it's very straightforward here they have given the mode information that one is that you want to give lowest rank on all rows two to average rank on all rows same is the case third parameter format that how it should appear so zero is basically uh, the in the range or the example which I was mentioning that three values are having the same uh, number then three to five or three dash four will appear or one will going to specify low values on all rows. So that's quickly you can uh, look into the help and specify uh, your mode and format based on your requirement. So that's that's the one way of looking at it uh, into the rank or V rank. Then we have the H rank function. H rank is nothing but the horizontal rank. So suppose that you have along with the cost, along with the make you have another dimension which is useful for the cost and based on these two dimensions you want to identify the cost then uh, you need to use the H rank function. So H rank function only works with the pivot structure. And here we have the pivot table or the pivot table uh, where we have specified the H rank function. So if I go back in here and see the rank, so this is what I have specified H rank sum of cost price. So if I just drag it a little bit on the left and if you see that high, low and medium cost for Aston Martin, then based on the rank, you know you can see where they have incurred most of the cost so in the mileage range of medium is basically the maximum expensive one then followed by low and then the high mileage 
So it's simply based on the data. There is nothing meaningful that we are trying to drive, but the explanation of how H rank works. So if I don't use the H rank and just use the rank, then let's see what happens. If I click apply, now you can see that the rank is changed and now it is vertically identifying the range or the rank. So first is given to the maximum value and then to second maximum, third maximum. But if you see the default behavior five to seven, which we, which we had seen in the help. So if I go back again and show you the help, if I close this first and show the help and rank the behavior I was showing the format three to four is what a default behavior and shown over here when it comes to representing the rank. So five to seven is the default behavior or this particular representation is the default behavior for identical values. So MGB, TRIMF and TVR is having zero. So they are coming at the position five uh, from five to seven and when it comes to ranking. So that's why it has given the front end representation as five to seven, but you can change it. So if I again go back into help and see what other format I have it, then I have zero as a default, which is currently shown. I have one, which means low values on all the rows and two, low value on first row blank on the following rows. So let's experiment with this. So, and before that we need to also specify the zero, which is default for mode. Otherwise it will not give us the correct result. So let's go into the properties and rank and first give the mode as zero. And then zero was the default one and one is the one is when you need to give a different formatting, click apply. Now you are seeing that same rank, lower rank is given to all rows, five, five and five. And the second property, the, the second number specify the, the lowest rank on the first row and blank on the rest of the rows. So based on that, you can configure your rank or H rank function and get the desired outcome. Same is the case for mode, zero is default, but as we have seen in the help, that you have one, two, three, four, as two as four different parameters where you can specify how you want to specify the mode. So look around it and see how it is uh, useful to you in your business scenario and get the maximum output out of it. That's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about rank, V rank and H rank and I'll meet you in the new video with the new talk.